Oh, oh, yeah, yes. Looking good, looking good. Oh, water feels good. There was a couple people that were in here that just left. They weren't fishing, they looked like they were swimming. So I'm gonna wade some of the stream today and maybe do some bank fishing, some upper spots. But I'm gonna start out with this little area and go downstream. There's a little area where it gets kind of deep. So we'll start out hitting that and just want to catch some fish today. Small bass lures to panfish lures. Kind of want to catch, I uh, love to catch a variety of stuff and just see what all we can pull out. Oh, finally, I got a bite like every cast. First red breast is our first little sunfish. Got another little fish here. Red breast number two. Longer one, really bright though. There's the fish. What is it? I think it's another sunfish. I'm looking for some bass, that's a little bluegill. So we got a couple red rests and a bluegill pretty quick. And uh, I'm throwing a little mule fishing furrow bug. Let this guy get back in there. It's just a little crawl looking bug. I think that's a 1 16th ounce chick head. I picked it up. I didn't button in the package, but I believe I got 1 16th. I got six pound line on this rod and this is a brand new rod. First time using it today. It's a six foot four light action. And uh, I saw it at ICAST and talked to the guys there at Lou's. And I really, I was like, that's awesome. And they actually ended up sending it to me. So I got, uh, I got this one and I got an ultralight, but this one here is the 6'4 light action. And I love that size and that style. It's a great multi-species style. And I really been wanting to test it out. So I'm hoping to hook into a couple of more, something bigger than just a little bluegill. I'm hoping to hook into a couple bass today. But also a good variety of sunfish and different species to kind of see how this thing feels because it it feels pretty firm dude i just spooked an eagle off i think pretty sure that was an eagle that just flew out let me get over this tree i can get to this yeah who went back through he just went back through is out on the river that little mouth of the river here that's where i think i might be the i bet my best chance to hook a decent sized fish but also, I think there's a bunch of sunfish there, too. There's a little guy. What do we get? Oh, another red breast. All right. We're picking off these guys. I ain't seen a rock bass or any other kind of bass yet. Oh, oh, yeah, yes, finally. I've been fishing this area, fishing this area, twitching this little lure. There's our small mouth. I just wanted to feel one fight on this rod. Oh, the reel also is a, it's a Johnny Morris 1500 size. It sounds a little noisy. I need to do something about it, but it feels great. Oh, there's another one behind it. There's another small one behind it. Yeah, man, this guy's fighting. Dude, look at this rod though, this is fun. It's a good fight, but I feel like I have power over this fish too. So it's not a giant fish, but it's a nice, it's a actually a pretty nice smallmouth. Wow, he got a little bigger. That's a pretty nice smallmouth and I got handled. Nice. 
that's what I was wanting to get. I wanted something to test this thing out. And we got something. Man, look at the colors on that. That is a beautiful fish. It's got a little leech on his tail. Man, that's pretty. He's got a crawled out of whiskers in his throat. I bet he's a 13, 14 incher. A perfect little creek fish there. Something good to try out, to test out. <laughs> That's cool. Sitting right over there, still seeing. Well, I got it. I'm gonna make a few more casts and I might put a little bit bigger crawl in there just to upsize for this area. Oh, dude, something jumped out of the water right there. I got a glance at it. It looked big and brown, which could have been a, uh, it could have been a small one I just caught. Sometimes they'll jump a little bit later. It, it could have been a sucker also. All right, while I'm here at this point, it's a really pretty area where we've got the river, we've got the hills over here, we've got this gorge where the river goes through. I'm gonna try a couple different lures. Actually, wow, it's getting dark. It's getting cloudy and I hear some thundering. Oh man, it actually, yeah, it's getting all of a sudden that temperature just dropped when that sun got behind those clouds. So I'm gonna try a few different lures right here and then we're gonna head back upstream. I wanna try this because I'm curious about these lures. It looks like a darter, dark sleeper. It says it's a quarter ounce, which doesn't feel too heavy. But there's this is exactly the same size as a lot of the little darters that live in here. A fish oh oh i got a fish i didn't realize it i'm waiting up here it's a nice little fish oh i'm in kind of deep right here let me try to get out of here get over here in a little shallower water he's about the size of that first one i caught or the last smallmouth i caught which is just actually a couple minutes ago i decided to start wading upstream Working this bank over here with this little dark sleeper and whoa, this guy thumped it, but he looks weird. He's got some sores on him. Look at that. Hmm. Close to. Another one about the same size. He looks healthy, but he's got some kind of weird sores. And um, I've always thought these lures are really cool. I just never use them. And I wanna start trying to use them. I just, I know people use them and catch fish on them, but I've never done it. And this one, I really like the size of it, how the weight is. I could throw this on my bass rod, but I'm also throwing it on this light rod pretty easy. Small line number two. Holy cow. Whoa. You never know what's gonna happen when these little thunderstorms hit. That wind's strong. I'm a little nervous standing here under all these big trees. Let's try to get up out of here real quick. Catch anything down there? I had one decent little smallmouth and had a bigger smallmouth chase the red breast that was deeper. Oh, nice. Is it gonna rain or what? It looks nasty, but I don't know if it's one of those fast ones or what. All right, the rain passed. We're gonna do a little bit more fishing. Got a couple areas here. I'm just went back to the burrow bug to try to catch some panfish or like anything. You going up to the next hole? Okay.
There's one. There we go. What we got? Oh, I got a trout. I wasn't really expecting that, but um, I forget there are trout in here. <laughs> the little mule bug, burrow bug, got him a trout. Oh, I'm, some bright colors on that one. Good on that burrow bug. All right, Mr. Trout, you didn't get eat today. Somebody else will eat you. He's right there in the current, kind of drifting back. But he's swimming up it. Oh, oh! Had a fish on for a minute. He's right on that tree right over there. I think I had a couple bites there. Let me see if I can pull one out. This murky water, I think, is it kind of just got murky. That fish? Oh, got one. I kind of just reeled into it. What do we got? Hey, that's what I was trying to catch today a rock bass. That was one of the fish I really wanted to get. I switched to a different crawl. I went to a little bit bigger profile. This is a little yum little yum crawl so it's, it's not a big but it's a little bit bigger than that burrow bug and um kind of a little heavier helped me sit it in the right spot so hey that's a cool little rock bass right there i like you know we had them but yeah it's a really cool little lure look i mean it looks like it would kill panfish and bass like in a stream that has a lot of them Oh, oh, there's one. There's one. <laughs> I got a little one. I got a little smolly on the crankbait. This little Shimano crankbait that uh, I got from Fishtails. And uh, I wanted Tank to try them out. And uh, that one was like, man, I saw that one. And I was like, that one's a bright colored one. It's perfect. It's murky water I bet I can't wait to try it more places that's a pretty little smelly little guy who's hanging out right behind that tree right there well I've made several casts down this little tree here thought, I thought I'd get another one. Oh wait something just hit right there I got something little as soon as I said that, I got another fish. A rock bass. I used to use little crankbaits more. I kind of got away from them for streams, but you know what? When the fish are active, um, that and sometimes it gets bites, but usually when the fish are active, you can catch a lot of fish because they'll kind of take a swipe at it, where when you're finesse fishing, they might swipe at it and you miss them. You're going to hook a lot more of them a lot of times. Well, you can lose more of them, but you'll hook, sometimes you'll hook more with a crankbait. That's not a big rock bass. It looks kind of skinny also, but a um, little bit of murky water. I can cover some water and kind of make, you know, several casts, cover water to try to pull out fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, it paid off. I kind of, I got out of the, I went, oh, well, he's back in the water. So what happens is we started right here when we came in the, and I went upstream. I switched to this little crankbait about halfway up through. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back through where I fished with a crankbait. So like two casts in this little deep hole and there was a smallie that we didn't, that me and Chris both fished here and didn't catch earlier. So that's kind of interesting. I just wanted to see how the, uh, well this crankbait was doing and it's getting quite a few hits, I'd say. All right, well, that's the end of the video. I like did a whole outro on my camera, but it was off. So uh, me and Chris kind of decided to hit this creek for a little bit and um, we caught a bunch of fish. 
and we waited out of the storm and then came back and caught some more fish. So I switched to this little uh, crankbait and I think I talked a whole lot about it. I don't know if the camera was on or not. If not, I'll, re I'll delete all this. But if, if it wasn't on, um, this actually caught quite a few fish and I'm really, I really like this setup. This, um, this is a 6.4 light action. And what Chris is using is a Dobbins and it's the 6.6 six light action. But these two rods are, they're probably close to the same price. I think this is maybe a little bit more. I think they complement each other very well because that one's got a softer tip and this one's a little bit stiffer. So I mean, if you wanted to carry two rods to cover, you know, a little bit heavier jig heads or something like that on this one, something lighter on that one, they would complement each other very well. Yeah, like you said, they're they're not the same. They're they're both lights, but that one you can tell like that one's a little stiffer than this one. So every rod you get is a little bit different. So this is definitely a light action, but just a good solid quality. And then that one is a light action with a little bit more backbone to it. But um, these are just fun style rods. It's good to have on your kayak or just when you're, you can just do fishing for anything. You can throw a, a good variety of lures on them from bass lures down to like almost a trout magnet lures, like small panfish. So uh, if you don't have those, these, they're starting to make a lot more of them. And I definitely would suggest the Lose Light 6.4 or the uh, Dobbins, uh, which one's that called? Dobbins Fury. Dobbins Fury, also another good one. So anyway, I'll, Good afternoon or good evening fishing with these um, setups and uh, now it's time to head to the house.